Guys, welcome to another video. It's been a while and you've got Mr. Everything English as always. Now, this video, I've been holding it off for a while because I was thinking, let me release it at the right time. We are so close to GCSE results day 2021, so I thought, why not release it now? Guys, are you feeling nervous? Are you feeling nervous? If you are, it's a good thing. Nerves are a good thing. It shows you care, it shows you're concerned in a positive way, whatever you're nervous about. Now, what are we nervous about? We are nervous about our GCSE results, which is taking place on Thursday, the 12th of August. Now, this date, guys, is sooner than normal. Usually, I don't release this video probably till about next week. But because this year, they want students to have enough time to appeal their grades, the results day has been moved back to Thursday the 12th of August. Now, I'm not gonna sit here, guys, and make a video saying to you, on results day, make sure you wake up in the morning and brush your teeth and eat your breakfast and charge your phone and blah, 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 blah. You all know that. Let's talk about results day, how it works, but more about what to do after you get results. Guys, results day is very simple. Your school either will have told you what time to come in, or you rock up in the morning and your teachers will be there with um, boxes and they'll have your exam uh, grades in an envelope. You simply go up to the desk, maybe your surname is allocated to that desk. So if you're an M, you go to the M desk. You go there, you get your envelope and you open your grades. You open your grades guide either in private or in public. It varies, some students, sometimes guys will open it with the teacher. Sometimes they'll go off quietly in a corner and open it. Sometimes they'll open it with a friend or sometimes they'll go home and open it. You do whatever suits you. Yeah, you do whatever suits you. But just do be aware guys that if, mm, no, this is my advice. My advice guys is for this year, open your grades at school. Reason being, if you want to appeal, which we're gonna talk about later, you want to talk you want to talk to your teachers then and there rather than going home and then trying to call and email and all that stuff you're better off opening it in a corner if you want to open it privately so you can have that conversation should you need to now guys this is the second year in a row that gcse's have been cancelled so your gcse's have been decided by your teachers and your schools using data this data has been through in school exams like mock exams in class assessments and just your overall data of the work you've produced. This all was put together and then teachers gave you your final grade based upon the evidence that you produced. Now on results day, you will get whatever grade they thought you were worthy of depending on the work you produced. Now as a minimum for English and maths, you're aiming for a grade four or five because this or these are the requirements for pretty much every course when it comes to um, A-level and so on. Now, that's the prep for results day as a whole. I think where the discussion should take place more is if for whatever reason you don't get the grade you need or that you were expecting. The first thing you should do in the appeals process is talk to your teacher. The first thing you should do guys is to talk to your teacher. Now, why is that? Because the first thing your school will do is to check for any administrative errors. That's the first thing they'll do in the appeals process. Now, what does that mean? All they will do is check to make sure that your name wasn't mixed up with somebody else's name or your data when your grade was being decided. Now, if that all proves okay and you still want to appeal, then guys, your school on your behalf can submit a formal appeal to the exam board for you and this is free of charge now how does this work guys the exam board they'll check your school or college's process so they'll check the data your school gave in they'll check the marking of your teacher so for example if your teacher said that your work was the quality of a grade four the exam board will check your teacher's marking of that work to see was that work actually a grade four, maybe a grade five, or even a grade three. So guys, be careful. Um, 
So a lot of the time, people never talk about this, but in appeals, your grade can go up and it can come down. Now, once the exam board has done their process, guys, um, they'll have a look at your work, they'll have a look at the teacher's marking of your work, they'll make sure all the right processes were followed. If they decide that something was done unreasonably, then they will alter your grade. If they don't, then your grade will remain the same. Now guys, I'm looking down here because I've got some dates that are very important. Um, there are two sets of deadlines when it comes to appeals. Now these two deadlines are very important because if you miss them, you basically can't do anything. There's priority appeals and there's non-priority appeals. Priority appeals are for those students whose GCSE grade is, is dictating and deciding what's going to happen when they go to university. So these are predominantly year 13 students who still haven't passed the GCSE, so are sitting it then. Now guys, for these students, guys, for these students, the deadline, now some schools vary, but the guideline is as follows. By the 16th of August, so guys, we're working pretty quick, 12th of August is, resu is res results day. By the 16th of August, is the deadline for students to request the center to review their grade. All that means is, this is the deadline for when you, if you're a priority student, must ask your school to review your grade. Then, the school then has a week, approximately. They have until the 23rd of August to submit their appeal to the exam board. So for example, by the 16th, you must tell the school that you would like to request an appeal. By the 23rd, the school must decide, okay, we are going to review these, I don't know, 10 students, and they must submit this to the exam board. Now, this is for priority students, and priority students are those who are applying to university. For students, pretty much anybody else, for those of you going to college, doing apprenticeships, doing whatever you're doing, Pretty much if you're in year 11 or in year 12 and you want to appeal your grade, you count as non-priority. Now the deadline for you is slightly different. You have until the 3rd of September, approximately. Now some schools may vary guys, so please bear that in mind. Don't just rely upon me, speak to your school. I'm going off the general guidance that's been published. You have until the 3rd of September to say to your school that you will like an appeal then your school has until the 17th of September, guys, they have until the 17th of September to tell the exam board that you would like to appeal. And then the exam board normally get back to you within 42 days. So guys, listen again, you have until the 3rd of September to let your school know your school has until the 17th to let the exam board know and the exam board normally get back to you within 42 days. Now that is the appeals process. Now look, if things don't go to plan and you still don't get the grade you want, guys, you're going to have to do the reset. Reset and it's as simple as that. Um, the reset normally takes place around November. Right, that's it. Two days, results day. Um, you go in, you get your results and then you assess where you want to move on from there. Now guys, for those of you who are looking to appeal, you have to kind of draw upon some sense of realism here. Now what I mean by is, what I mean is this, you must reflect on what you've done over the past year, the past two years in school. There is no point in appealing your grades if you know for a fact your evidence isn't good because that's what they're gonna be looking at. You, you, you're just wasting your time and your school's time. Now, I'm not, I'm not sounding harsh, guys. I'm just being real. Really reflect upon your evidence. Look at the work you produced, look at the work that you handed in, and just think about whether or not it's worth going for that appeal. But generally, guys, it's as simple as this, guys. Thursday, you go in, you get your results, and I pray you guys have the best of luck and you do really well. And guys, that's it. I genuinely wish you the best of luck. That's another year done, another year gone. I, I can't believe how quick 
this particular video comes up, GCSE results day 2019, 2020, 2021. Um, normal content resumes around the first two weeks of September once schools open up. I wish you guys the best of luck for results day. Do let me know how you get on. As always guys, it's been Mr. Everything English. Peace.